CBIM is uh, offering an alternative set of policies which include the, the control of spiraling of prices of essential commodities, control or prevent the suicide of farmers and the lockouts, closure of factories and thereby retrenchment of workers and employees. The unemployment, unemployment problem which is mounting like anything that shall have to be prevented and scope has to be created for generation of employment of our unemployed youths. Then prevention of corruption at the same time combatment of terrorism, not communalism, but strengthening of unity and integrity of our country and also a society which will be very, very conducive for all sorts of people including different categories of minorities. There is no secret. I have been taught by my party, Communist Party of India Marxist, how to lead a simple life. That is what I have been practicing and I am following. And I am grateful to my party because of its proper teaching. The thing is the combatment of long-standing extremist problem and bring, bringing back and restoration of peace and tranquility. At the same time, strengthening of democracy, taking it to the grassroots level by empowering the common people, particularly the women. The other one I should say, maintaining secular fabric of our society by ensuring security to the minority of different categories of our society and also gradually overcoming the problem of hunger, illiteracy, unemployment and at the same time taking special care for the interest of the tribal scheduled caste, OBC and minority people and at the same time helping each and everybody to get education and health care. Because we have been actually working against their policy of profit maximization, that is actually uh, the, the, what should I say, the corporate houses. 
So media is largely controlled by the corporate houses. So they should not be happy with us. Rather they find uh, their interests are safe either in Modi or in Rahul. That's, that is why they are very much happy with Modi and Rahul and they are not that happy with us. Gujarat model is actually virtually the model for the corporate houses. This model is not for the common people, even for Gujarat. That cannot be the model for the country as a whole. Country has some other problems. So I think our approach should be to take care of the arm army of our country. And to take care of that, we shall have to undertake the program of radical land reforms. And at the same time, the purchasing capacity of the common people of our country has to be increased day by day in an uh, incessant manner. And education for all, health care for all, shelter and clothing for all. All these basic problems shall have to be taken care of. And until and unless this is taken care of, the country will not be able to wriggle out from the problems being faced nowadays. It means that the communists have been working for a bright future that will be classless and exploitation free society. And we have been working for that. CPIM is the party of poors. Those who have problems but not capable enough to take care of their own problems. They shall have to depend on others to solve their problems. CPIM has been fighting for them. They are particularly the peasantry, agricultural workers, working class, semi-middle class, petty traders, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, OVCs, minorities, and particularly the unemployed youths. So CPIM has been working for them. And they have constituted the life part of our population. So until and unless their problems are not properly addressed, how country will prosper? The CPIM, DAS, has been working for the prosperity of the country, prosperity of the society, prosperity of the common people of our country.